everyone. Welcome to Hashtag Spina Bifida. Hashtag a lot of you have been asking me questions about would I cure my spina bifida if there was a cure for one? And I think I have answered this somewhat in the past. I'm not sure if my feelings have changed since then. But right now, it, it's a mix of a yes and a no. I think yes, I would take a cure if it would stop future things happening with my body if they do happen. But I do recognize that if there's a cure, it it's not going to fix anything that's already happened. So it's hard to say a definitive yes, because a cure doesn't mean it's not gonna fix the damages that my body already has. But also I'm inclined to say no, because at the, at the same time, this is my life, it's all I've ever had. I don't know what it's like not to have spina bifida, and it's honestly scarier to not have it, because while my spina bifida can be unfair to myself, it's also something I've grown to love and I've worked really hard to love it at the same time. I think though I would be okay with a type of cure or preventive thing that I could take so that my kids don't have it or so that other people can take so their kids don't develop it. I think when people think of cures, they think because something's wrong and with, with spina bifida, Her makeup there's nothing is really, really pretty. wrong with it, it's just, that's how our bodies are. What's wrong is the accessibility. There's none. So She's pretty. You wouldn't really need a cure. I like if the makeup. So it's basically what I'm saying. Accessible. And, I mean, we need better treatments. That's for sure. But I don't know. For myself personally, I don't know if I would take a cure. But if you have spina bifida, what do you think? Would you take a cure if there was one? If you have any other disability or chronic illness, would you do the same? How do you feel? And let me know because it's a very interesting question. And that's all I have for today on hashtag Spina Bifida. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And if you like my work and want to help support me, the links to my Patreon and PayPal are down below. And until next time, bye. Would I cure my Spina Bifida? Probably not. And she basically took every word that I was thinking, like she took it, she took the words right out of my mouth. I wouldn't change my spine a bit for the, because I don't know what life is without it. You know what I'm saying? It's certain things with spine a bit for the that happen, and certain things that don't happen with spine a bit for the. And when you don't have it, when you a quote unquote normal person or a healthy person with no disability, those things are triggered towards your body differently. Like, like with me, my spina bifida, I have a very high pain tolerance. For somebody who don't have spina bifida, I wouldn't know how to handle pain or certain pains, and, t and I don't know my tolerance towards pain. Like, for example, I've had surgery and didn't have to take medication after it for pain because my pain tolerance is so high, I didn't feel the pain. Most people will have a surgery and be in pain and need pain pills because they're going through a pain from the surgery, from after receiving the surgery. Versus me, I don't need the pain pills because it's like the surgery I just had, I can't feel anyway. And when I have certain surgeries, I don't even get put to sleep because I get like the anesthesia to like, you know, make me woozy. Well, not woozy, but what's the word I'm looking for? Make me kind of like out of it. You know, I'm kind of like... I don't know how to explain it, but I, I don't need to be knocked unconscious, like sleep for certain surgeries because I don't even feel it, you know? So it's been plenty of times where I've been, you know, off that, that, that medicine that make you drowsy, but it don't put you to sleep because it's like, well, he don't need to be put to sleep if he can't feel it no way. You know, it's been numerous amounts of surgeries I've had where I've just been like, out of it so you know that's kind of like a pro when it comes to spina bifida so and then there's like there's like cons if your body don't work certain ways you have you know uh bathroom problems i wouldn't wish that on nobody i wouldn't even wish spina bifida on nobody if i could change it i don't know if necessarily i would change it for myself but i would change it for people who don't want it like if i could grant the wish of all the people who have spina bifida who want to get rid of it, I would fix it for them. But for me, per se, I, I'm on the fence, too. I'm like her. It would be a lot of pros to not having it, but it would be a lot of cons to not having it. And the fact that I'm, I've am i learned to love myself and learned to to deal with my spina bifida and accept me for who I am and the fact that we're all different as people, 
this is me being different from maybe you who's watching who don't have it or you who has something else. You might have cerebral palsy, you watching, or you might have schizophrenia, schizophrenia, or however you pronounce it. I don't have cerebral palsy or schizophrenia. So it's like, that's what makes you, you, and my spina bifida is what makes me, me, you know? So I'm on the fence. I would change certain things about it, but would I all the way cure myself 100%? I don't know. That's a real hard question because it's like when you used to something and when something is your life, like she said, you wouldn't even know how to live any other way. Like if I woke up tomorrow without smiling before that, I wouldn't know what the fuck I would do. Like, cause I'm used to this being my life, you know? But, uh, yeah, man. One thing I know for a fact, I wouldn't wish this on nobody. Like nobody at all. I wouldn't even wish this on my worst enemy. I wouldn't wish this on my worst hater. I would want to provide something, like she said, that would prevent kids from having it because I wouldn't want no kids to have this, you know, growing up, getting talked about, going through countless amounts of surgeries. I've been through over 24 surgeries in my life pertaining to my spina bifida. And, uh, yeah, I wouldn't want no kid to go through that. And I've been through surgeries my like my whole life, not just as a kid. I've had kid surgeries, childhood surgeries, teenage surgeries, adult surgeries. So, you know, I've had a toe removed, a heel bone removed. So it's a lot of things that I wouldn't want nobody else to go through. So I wouldn't want this for nobody else. But this is me and this is who I am. And it took me a long time to truly love and accept who I am as a person. It probably didn't start hitting me to like truly love and accept that for myself till about 2014, maybe 2015, late 2014, maybe early 2015. But prior to that, I was like in denial. I wanted to so far remove myself from that to the point where I would deny it. I would be like, ah, ain't nothing wrong with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like everybody else, blah, 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 blah. But we as people aren't like everybody else. We're all different. The only thing we all have in common is we're human. You know, everybody's different. I might have something wrong with me that you don't. You might have something wrong with you that I don't. You might have green eyes. I have dark brown eyes. I'm bald. You might have braids, you know? So we just all different. And this is important to embrace ourselves and accept ourselves for who we are. And the more I talk, the more I probably wouldn't change my spina bifida. I'm leaning more towards no because... I wouldn't be right here in this situation with y'all talking and gaining these subscribers and meeting all these amazing people who can relate to me like Diamond, if you're watching. Hi. But, um, yeah, man, that's it. I'm out. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. And thank God for y'all lives, man, because I love my life, regardless of all my ups and downs.